This is a test. There is Dom. Hello. There is Megan. Hello. There is Luke. He's not here. No, he doesn't exist anymore. Goodbye. He's out of continuity. So right. I have to reshoot that thing again. <laughs> you'll, no, you'll just have to, like, deep fake my face to be just anyone else. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. I'm ready to go. Are we all ready? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> This is all a trap. <laughs> oh, no. The doors are locked. No, right. I mean, technically they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, <fun> <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's trapped here. Well, I'm never leaving, but that's fine. I think there's worse places to be trapped. Put a hammock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I am here with some recognisable faces of the Doctor Who community. We've got Dominic, aka the Purple Doctor. Hello, hello, hello. We've got Megan, a.k.a. Megan. <laughs> Hello. And we've got Luke, a.k.a. the Little Red Riding Hood Doctor. Hi. That's right, yeah? Yeah, no, I'm just a little red. Just a little smidge. A little smidge. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, before we get into the questions, obviously, thank you. Being here is awesome. It took a while, but it was, it's worth it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Three, three and a half hours. <laughs> I woke up at, what, uh, eight o'clock. And now I'm here at, like, what, two? Yeah. <laughs> no, four. Four, yeah. four o'clock. <laughs> My man's done a journey. <sighs> but enough about me. There's enough me in the show. I think we can move on to the actual questions. Can we? Should we? Yes. yes. <laughs> so, we'll start with some softball ones for, uh, for the lot of you. First of all, what is Doctor Who? Just anyone. Anyone chime in? I'll take it. Uh, so, Doctor Who is a, apparently a uh, some show that was created by somebody who had a good idea at the time. And generally, it's generally seen as quite a good thing, maybe. It depends who you ask, really, personally. We think it's quite good. Mm -hmm. Some other people might not, but that's their problem, not ours. Well, that's a very good answer. Yeah, not so. In a, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good. Now that we've gotten the basis out of the way, if I can unlock my phone. Uh, we're in here, obviously, so I have to draw attention to it. As hilarious as it would be to just be like, so we're just in someone's shed. Um, I'll ask each of you this. What is your favourite part of the console? Go. The no switch the on no the TARDIS console. I'm not explaining it. Luke. <laughs> the D-mat lever. The D-mat lever. D-mat lever. D Lever. I think you're just being, you're cheating. You just heard that and wanted to say it. Well, if you want a second option, then I'll have to go with some of these, like, one of these little switches as well, because they're very cathartic. You can just do that. I feel threatened. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is new. I haven't had to worry about this before. <laughs> right. Uh, and then last but not least, fa out of all the ones that have been in your episodes, favourite monster or villain? Too long. <laughs> it's got to be Ashley Jones. I was going to say... <laughs> got to be the time flights, because I made them. In my defence, I was going to say one in Series 5, but I can't say that yet, because... Yeah, a... No, yes, you can. There's a lot in Series 5, but we can't really. <laughs> can't really. Yeah, so when, when's Series 5 coming out? Well, you see... You had to I was, do it, I you was warned. I couldn't help it. We'll I couldn't help it. That's fair. That's fair. They're always trained on me at all times anyway, so I'm used to it. So, I've got three questions for each of you, and we'll, we'll alternate. I think that's the smartest way of doing it. So, Luke, you all right? <laughs> yeah, you all right? Just you know, in my element. Good. Done. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, uh, as tempted as I am to talk about the Lego stop motions you did back in the day, as great as they were, I'm going to focus on the fan films, as I was this close. I was this close to putting in a question. So, when it comes to the fan films in general, how did that start? Where did the, what's the genesis of Doctor Who 2012 as people know it? Hmm. That's a good question. Thank you. I travelled all this way. I better ask some <laughs> questions. <laughs> Um, well, a lot of it started when I like, talked to a few friends, and they, oh, thank you, Tom. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thanking you for. It was, I'm just it holding was these people at tech. I'm going to do nothing now. Ah. Yeah, so it, it just kind of started as like a couple of friends were saying, oh, you know, would you consider doing live action? And I was like, oh, I'd like to. And then because I started building a TARDIS, it's like a no brainer. You've got the TARDIS, you have so to do So was the TARDIS not built for the fan films? Oh, sorry. It was just built f for fun, just yeah. for... Yeah? Yeah, the original one was, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was half the size of this. It's the old question of what came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. <laughs> what came first, the fan film or the... <laughs> the TARDIS. Right. 
Who have I got written next before I drop my phone again? It's all getting tangled. No, it's fine. Meg! All right. Hello. So, you do more of the acting side of things, aside from carrying the bags, well, moving the bags out of shop. <laughs> yeah. So, you uh, yeah, that's, um, that's feminism in action, folks. DW2012, big fan of it. So, <laughs> I run the line sometimes, I do apologise. <laughs> So, from uh, an acting perspective, because you do a lot of acting outside of this as well, I, I see it on the instant grams and such. Um, so, with the fan films, what are some of the more either challenging or fun things you've had to do acting-wise? Yeah, I mean, as well as uh, spoilers for series five that I can't there's, talk that's about. Two. <laughs> but then, in the finale, there's quite a few scenes that we've kind of done recently that I really want to talk about, but there've been loads and loads of fun, and like having to push myself you have to do a second interview after acting wise yeah i'll have to come back because all the answers you've given me so far is oh i can't talk about it <laughs> thanks <laughs> the series five is you know it's, it's got it's got good good content things got i mean the re okay, okay you're selling it something i can't something i can't talk about the regeneration scene that was really fun like the whole um that's very emotional day i was like i'm not gonna cry and i was the first one to cry <laughs> yeah you were, you were um and then obviously like the whole that whole regeneration bit and the post regen and like like all the sort of stunty type things we do. What, flinging yourself out the doors? Yes, just yeet myself out the doors <laughs> <laughs> to the ground. It's a good. It was a good shot. I mean, we were talking about this earlier. It's a good shot, mainly for Dom. It, it's a <laughs> Hi, Dom. How you doing? Hi. You're right. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, hi really intimidating <laughs> won't lie to you so first of all uh, i said this in the car on the way over but congratulations for the job at big finish thank you very much you you do mostly admin it, we're not supposed to talk about that mick briggs don't kill me i'll bleep it out and then people will have to wonder <laughs> people i'll bleep it out and people will have to wonder what it is <laughs> yeah, yeah so how did you come to join the the fan films well um it's very it's a nice little story, actually, because we met in, like, uh, Birmingham Comic Con 2015? 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. <gasps> Keep on getting the dates mixed up. Um, it's supposed to be a Time Lord match. Yeah, so we first met for the first time, we became friends after that, and then, wasn't it almost that, that same day? It was the same day. Yeah, yeah. it's the same day that uh, you asked me, and you were filming Series 2 at the time, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, that if I wanted to become the next Doctor after him. And uh, it was very much a case of me saying, yeah. <laughs> okay. Was it like a, you didn't know? You were like, yeah, sure, we'll get to that point, won't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I was already aware of the fan films beforehand, and uh, I was just like, oh, yeah, you yeah, you're going to be Yeah, you're going to be on time. I've seen the set, I want to play. <laughs> yeah, so after that, I mean, the rest is history. I uh, ended up uh, doing my first particular microphone. Um, <laughs> I ended up doing my first um, actual shooting in uh, the final Enigma, and that was 2017, uh, around there. And then, of course, Rude. drop. Um, Usually the mic's supposed to drop, but the phone <laughs> dropped instead. Phone dropped instead. Do continue. And then in the movie as well, and now doing uh, the first uh, full series. Mm -hmm. So, all been very, very good. Very exciting. And the weird thing was, was that Meg met Dom oh, before yeah. me and Meg got together, and before I met Dom. It was very, yeah. very Is someone about to get exposed? No. <laughs> it was a very weird coincidence. I was, at, I was at Comic Con with like a friend and then I was just going around in like... How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> this is brand new! <laughs> um, going around in cosplay just having photos of cosplayers and I just grabbed Dom and had a photo with Dom. And what then, was Dom dressed as? 11th Doctor. Correct. With handles. Uh, with handles. Yeah, and handles. Then, yeah, little handles. Good detail. And little. then, yeah, and then when I, when I met Luke and then I got in the series and then I, I was literally just scrolling back and I was like... Is that Dom? And I was like, oh, I met Dom and I didn't really meet weird. Dom. It was just really strange. Yeah. Like a it was year the, and a half. It was the same before. day that I met Dom for the first time. Yeah. <gasps> and the day I asked him to play the doctor. So it was like, it was all like meant it's to all, be. It's all connected. Yeah, it's like a year and a half before I met you. Destiny. Destiny. This is. Sorry for any more, uh, audio issues. I haven't used this before, so I'm just playing. He's like, hello. Is well, it like really intimidating from your end? Like, hey, hey, hey. you're talking. You talk. <laughs> you talk now. <laughs> um, so, with Dom being the main line doctor for series five, have you enjoyed being more behind the camera this time? Yes, I actually prefer it. Really? Who would do ever you? take an act? I do. Why is it better? 
it's just it, I don't know it's just it's more comfortable I mean obviously carrying the camera that's that's the crap part yeah. it's heavy and weighty but at the same time I just enjoy having control on how the episode looks yeah. so I don't have to worry about acting or remembering lines or anything so I'll just I've got the script and I've got the camera and I'm good to go we do have a good like flow in filming now yeah. don't we it's yeah. quite nice yeah yeah, yeah, honestly, I think yeah. Uh, at the moment the three of us are really working the best we've ever worked. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I think would you say series five is the best so far? Oh yes. Put you on a pedestal now. Now you, you the hype is real. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. It's, it's I'm real. trying to get you in as much trouble as humanly possible when series five comes around. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we will live up to it, trust me. You heard that? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that clip in a special little place. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm gonna bring it back up every time, every episode. Um, ah, here we go. This is a fun question for you, Megan. So you've acted against both of these as the Doctor. Which is better? Conflict! <coughs> I'm gonna lose, <coughs> lose a boyfriend! Don't make us go. Then you could do the obvious thing and just say, Dan. Dan, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, he plays the Irish doctor and like our scenes are just so good. Yeah. I just can't ever fault it. You, you know? can't fault that accent. They just they just can't like, you know, live up to wow. it. You heard it here first. Luke just got dumped. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to Dom. Hi Dom. I feel the need to always say that. I don't know why. Hi Dom. So um the costume, as yes. you're wearing it, it's something I must bring up. Very snazzy. Thank you. Even though it's warm on a hot day. I know. <laughs> so where'd the look come from and why purple? Well, the simple question, the simple answer as to why, that's not a question, is it? If the brain works better than the mouth does. <laughs> now there's a quote. Oh. <laughs> Get continued. Oh. <laughs> uh, so the uh, reason I tried, decided purple was just because it's my favorite color. And I was particularly influenced by Kilgrave, played by David Tennant in, the, uh, in Marvel's Jessica Jones. He's and very hot. He, yeah, he's very. <laughs> and uh, he had a very good costume choices there. And I was just like, I, yeah, purple is the thing that is cementing this sort of style and look for me. I mean, I do my own little quirks. Like, as you can see, I've got knuckle socks. There we I, go. I've been with you for a good few hours. Did not notice the socks. <laughs> it's normally Sonic. It's normally it's Sonic. Yeah. But they're all Sonic. Is that because you've got to go fast? Indeed. I just felt like the worst interview in the world. I, that hurt to say. To <laughs> Is it because you've got to go fast? Kids, do you get that reference? I'm the youngest here. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> See, actually, here's a fun fact. I'm 22, 37, 46, 2000. Just a fun little scoop there. Accurate. I'm never getting invited back. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, with the costume, um, I wanted to try and make it as unique as possible. So hence why I've gone for a, um, a collar pin, mainly because I saw a picture of David Bowie wearing one. I was just like... Fashion icon, you can't say no to it. Absolutely. And I was just like, yeah, okay, we'll just include a few of these with some shirts. This shirt here I'm wearing here is a Screen Actor one, worn by um, uh, David Tennant in, in Jessica Jones. Uh -huh. So it was a Kilgrave shirt. Um, very nice. Mm. Yeah, he likes it particularly because it makes it easy to focus on the camera. Oh, yeah, the camera does it. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, oh, does. This one on the page lit. It's like, ah, oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> loves it. That's, that's good to know. <laughs> yes, yes, naturally. And uh, that, that's the only reason, actually. It's, it, Luke insisted because of the camera. <laughs> Kilgrave, who's that? I held a gun to my head and was just like, wearing that shirt in half <laughs> the episodes. Also, help me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And uh, you can't see it really, really here, but I'll give a quick. Flash, but there you go. Hey, hey! Races as well. Hey, hey. Didn't even have to ask. No, nah, no, nah, there you go. But yeah, it's just like all sorts of purple elements, different shades and everything. And I just thought, yeah, just make this as purple as I can when I'm not wearing a black shirt. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can skip a page because the, there was a question to strip, but now I don't have to ask it. <laughs> Convenient. Every time I, I just noticed, every time I do that, I'm just blocking you, Meg. I do apologise. I've got a new head now. I'm Wally now. You are Megan Williams. <laughs> there we go. Casting call. You know, you heard it here first. <laughs> Luke, back to you. Damn. <laughs> Don't, it's, your, it's your last proper question. Oh, really? Last direct question. Oh. There is a few others directed to all of you. Okay. So be scared. Be terrified, in fact. Let me remind myself what that question is. I'm going to cut this bit out so I look cleverer than I actually am. 
I'm looking at it, I'm not reading it. Well, oh, yeah, it's a face. Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> Oh, yes, of course. How could I forget? So, again, we're in this TARDIS. It's amazing, first of all. Brilliant craftsmanship. Um, do you ever, just at any point in the day, whether you're filming or not filming, just come down and just sort of mech around in here? Just apropos of nothing. No. Liar. I don't believe you for a second. Do you not? No, I just don't. I'm rarely in here. Because every time I'm in here, I'm just like, ah, it's a TARDIS. Every viewer has turned against you. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, like, when you have your own TARDIS, it's so boring. <laughs> it boring. Is. Did you... Did this pick up? <laughs> it's so boring. Yeah. Because when I go in here, I'm like, oh, that needs doing, that needs repair, that needs maintenance, that needs maintenance. Oh, okay. yeah, I always get loads of messages yeah. like, oh, my God, like, I, like, I, never guess what? I found this, I found this, I found this, I'm like, now. oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that's how, oh, the bulb has gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing it's just like I mean as a, I, I love it because I come in here and I don't have to do any of the maintenance yeah you, mainly you, I'm, see it, you have all the yeah. fun yeah I have all the fun but he keeps it going yeah. and I'm, I'm, I wouldn't know the first thing and what to do how to build yeah. it anything like that I, I'm not a very practical building type person in that sort of aspect and, uh, normally over Christmas like I'll, I'll lock the doors about Jan um, not January I'll lock the doors in November and I won't come back in here till March and like she gets shut down for Christmas. So I know when I can come and <laughs> uninterrupted. So I know when I, when I come in, I'm just like, I'm dreading to go in because I know everything's gonna, gonna gone wrong. I know things aren't gonna be working. Right, so you set it about that low, so then you're impressed, right? This year I was impressed. I walked. I went, wow, nothing needs doing. Like, wow, keep this up. You're doing a good job. Ah, but no, I don't really normally come in here. Nah, no. I only come in here for filming. That makes me irrationally angry. <laughs> <laughs> Just because here's the thing, I was saying this a minute ago. Seeing it on camera doesn't genuinely doesn't do it justice. It is the details in here that might even not feature in a fan film is incredible. You were saying that you were going to do a behind the scenes, well, to try yeah, and do a tour. tour. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to plan it, but we're just like how because there's so much it's stuff. Too much to get in. We're, not, we're trying to do it in little yeah. sections, but we're just like, oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. That would it would take at least a year. <laughs> um... <laughs> ah yes, Megan. Hi. Uh, sorry. So obviously the character's named after you, which is nepotism and vanity at its highest, and that's coming from me. <laughs> so when it comes to playing the character, does it is is it a lot of just you, or do you have an inspiration for how you do it? Well, I think it is mainly me, but it's just a very cocky or confident version of myself. I think. Would you not consider yourself cocky or confident? To not to as much extent of what, what she is, I suppose. I say as I shove a microphone into you, you're not confident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not crying. Like. I mean, there is a slight bit of difference between yours and Meg's because obviously you prefer being called Meg. Yeah, so well, we, the thing and is, she right. hates the word Megan. I do hate So my I called her character Megan. Yeah, he did it. Wow. To us. <laughs> yeah. and I can... Boyfriend of the year! <laughs> And the only reason I did it was because the amount of times I've had companions and I keep calling them by their companion name. The amount of times I called um, Chloe Jess rather than her actual name. Mm. It's almost like calling an ex, uh, calling your current girlfriend an ex's name. It's just that same amount of like, yeah. oh, that was awkward. Yeah, was like, I'm like, oh, Je I'm Chloe, come on, let's go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. to me, I go, Meg. To me, Megan's my character and Meg is myself. Yeah. It's really weird. It's like a dual personality. I guess because their name's the same one's got to be, mm. I don't know. I d yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, Ben. <laughs> Sorry if I'm coming across like an asshole. <laughs> it's just because I am one. <laughs> and you, I've tricked you all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, back to Big Finish. I'm pr I promise this isn't going to be too intrusive. Okay. What's your favourite social security number? No. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to ask like specifically what you do, but people obviously. I, I know uh, a couple of my friends have mentioned just that they are obviously a bit jealous that you get to work for Big Finish. It is an impressive feat. So for the for the folks at home. How would you? How did you sort of get their attention? How did they get in contact? I don't know. I just ended up there. Really? <laughs> yeah, literally. It's just a case of they came to me, and uh, it's just 
I'm just very honoured to have been given the opportunity to work for them because they are very lovely people. They honestly really are. Um, in terms of a working environment, they are just um, uh, some of the best people I've worked with. Aside from you two, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, honestly, I've had such um, a, an enlightening time working there, seeing how things work from the um, from a behind the scenes, well, not really scenes as it is, well, from a visual perspective, it's behind the audio uh, production experience. Uh, yeah, I've just enjoyed it a lot, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, working on productions and Funny. stuff. <laughs> I wasn't going to let it go, I'm sorry. I knew you were. It's the chair! Again, never getting invited back. <laughs> right, uh, now, got a, I've got a short quiz. Short quiz, okay. I've got a short quiz. <laughs> Nothing too hard. Again, what's your favourite social security numbers? <laughs> um, first of all, it's going to be about your doctor lineup. Okay. Now, I'll be honest, I, I like to consider myself a fan of yours, but I didn't realise how many sort of doctors there were in the lineup. So I've written them down, yeah. but I'm not showing you. So, who comes first? Pete. No. Nathan. I'm talking about specifically names of the doctors. I don't know yeah. the actors' names. No, um, I'm not. I, I was going to write it down. I'm, if I'm right, yeah. I'm right, it's going to be. I can. I think I can reel them off. So that'll be. Northern doctor. Northern doctor. Young doctor. Uh, blonde Doctor, Little Red Doctor, Purple Doctor, um, Lost Doctor, Irish Doctor, and then the Cravat Doctor. Yep. <laughs> well, that was a quick quiz. Uh... <laughs> what did you expect? Yeah, good yeah, point. Was I was really expecting you to be like, oh no. <laughs> I was hoping to catch you out. The, other ones well, the, the thing is, uh, Dan kind of would never let you let it down if no, you did. Like, I was really banking on one getting left out as well, yeah. I was really hoping just like someone would be watching at home like, You thought you were going to forget The Lost Doctor because I did. No, no, no. <laughs> Aha! I was like, oh yeah, The Lost Doctor. We never did find him. <laughs> Where'd he go? The Doctor's day remains lost. How'd he get lost? I don't know. Oh no. Well, How him. tragic. When we find him, we become the found Doctor. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Slightly less mysterious there. Yeah, definitely. Here's another quiz. Mm. Oh. It's, this is a shorter quiz. Okay. And I'm not going to let you work as a team, because that's that was cheating first. You let Dom do all the work. It, okay, actually, here's a question, Meg. List them. You just heard them. How, what's the Doctor lineup? The Northern Doctor. Mm. <laughs> so you, you people don't listen to me, do you? <laughs> the Young Doctor. The, the Northern Doctor, the Young Doctor. <laughs> that, that <cough. laughs> the Blonde Doctor, the Little Red Doctor, the Purple Doctor, the Lost Doctor. The Irish Doctor and the Cravat Doctor. Well done. You say you live another day. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the doors the doors are locked. Okay, so the next one. I've taken, I'm going to take it in turns, I've taken three screenshots from one of the fan films. And you've got to tell me which one it is. I'm doing this, again, to try and catch someone out. Because I wouldn't be able to get them. <laughs> so I want you to not get them. It's going to be like a random shot someone's foot. <laughs> But let's see how cruel I was, ladies and gentlemen. So, who do I start with? Oh, who do I pick on first? Dominic, you seem the most intelligent of the three. No offence. But <laughs> no offence to a pair of you. <laughs> what's that? Oh, I, I, <laughs> that's cheating. So, what's that one? Um, oh, oh, I know that one. Yeah, I know that one. I'm just trying to recover the name because, um, isn't it? It's the one that has the... Ghostbusters influence, wasn't mm. it? That was the one that I okay. It's the one you filmed. Yeah, I've won the films. <laughs> you just filmed that try, shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I filmed that shot. I'm just trying to draw a series four, mm. isn't it? Um, so we got. Gonna need an episode title. Um. Oh God. <laughs> this, this, oh. I don't know. Uh, um, oh no! Pass. Does anyone want to steal? I'll steal it. Go for it. The Mysterious Calling. That's the one. <laughs> it's the Mysterious Calling, ladies and gentlemen. It's flashing at me again. Anyway, well done. You got it right. I'll move on to you, Megan. I was going to do it, but he got it right. So I'm going to do now change the order. Oh, this one has you in it. What's that? Reflection. That's my first episode. It is Reflection. I shouldn't have picked you because I knew it was your first. God damn it. <laughs> Jack hasn't thought this through, despite all the expense. And now, finally, Luke Newman, renowned Little Red Doctor. What's that? 
Uh, fatality trap. That is correct. <laughs> well done. I was so close to saying one minute. <laughs> Wait, no, no. And as a prize, there you go. F fight between some chocolate buttons oh. and a Sonic screwdriver. Oh. Incredible. Oh, wow. Don't say I never did anything for you. After this cut, season, I'll have them back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all for show. Give it back in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I forgot to mention the prizes. So there they are. But you all got them right, so now I, sh I should have brought three items. Technically. You want a phone? Phone? That you Who wants the phone? <laughs> a phone from our... Hey, I have a phone. Um, okay. <laughs> Hello? Classic comedy. It's your mother. Oh. I'm, I'm filming. I'm fi... Is he alright? I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the end of my questions and the fun quiz that I'm sure was a roaring success on all fronts. Don't hold it there. I do apologise. <laughs> Look, I haven't been the doctor in a while, OK? I forgot I had to hold one of these things. <laughs> Stop this, isn't it? Don't just there, like, shaking his head. There you go, doctor. You show us how it's done. That's a professional right there. Yes. Thank you again for letting me come out. Well, what, I'm sure I'm d sure one of you. I, I spoke to you, didn't I? I? I spoke to you about it. Yes. Never have I spoken to these two. We don't even know who this guy is. It's, it's, it's your house, sort of your car. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's very kind of them. Very kind of you. I'm talking to them. It's very kind of you lot to let me come out and have some bants. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Not at all awkward in any sense of the word. Now I'm going to turn this off. And if I don't come back alive, Gemma, you can have my stuff.